I'd like to show you how easy it is to integrate NinjaCal with your own files. The instructions we're going to be following are in NinjaCal in the built-in documentation. And as you can see, there are only four simple steps. So I'm going to grab the NinjaCal widget and add it to our contacts file. I'm going to put it on this blank tab here. And to begin, I'm going to define database. Go into the tables and click import. We're going to import the NinjaCal table. It comes in without any modifications required. And I'm going to switch to relationships and make a simple relationship between the table I'm interested in and the NinjaCal table that just came in. I'm going to switch this to the X operator and make this a Cartesian product relationship. That's pretty much all I have to do. I'm going to go to Script Maker and import a single script from NinjaCal. Click this little import button, grab NinjaCal. I only need this one script, but I'm going to grab those little blank things on the other side of it so that it's separated from my other scripts. And again, this comes in without needing any modification either. Now all I have to do is grab the NinjaCal widget I'm interested in. I'm just going to copy this from the layout, if I can get that, and paste it where I'm needing it. Once it pastes in, you'll see it works perfectly. And I can even hold down the Shift key and do a range selection. All these dates that I'm picking are available to me in global variables. I'm going to bring up the data viewer and see that now we have access to these things in global variables. And uh, I can use them in my own scripts and set fields. Works really well. So. What if I want to put the widget on a different layout based on a different table occurrence? Let's say I want to put one right here on settings. Well, I'm just going to make a little change to the graph. I'm going to rename the table occurrence that was originally created. In this case, I'll call it contacts NinjaCal because it's related to the contacts table right there. And then I'll drag copy this down to where I need it in my graph. And I know that that settings tab is based on the about layout. So now I'm just going to rename this to be plain old NinjaCal. And since it's got the original name, Again, I, I'll tie it back up here with a, another Cartesian join, another X operator relationship. Since it has the original name as the same widgets in my NinjaCal file, I can grab another widget. I'll grab this one. It's kind of a pretty one. I can grab another widget, and now I can paste it on to my new uh, layout. Let's paste it in here. Get to the right tab. And uh, it works. And you'll see we'll switch back to our contacts table occurrence, and this one's going to work also. Just want to show you one of my other favorite things in NinjaCal, and that's portal filtering. I'm going to click on July 2009 here to set the date, and you'll see that as I click a date in the calendar, we're filtering the portal to the right. Best of all is I can do date range filtering here. I'm going to shift click, and now I'm filtering this whole kind of two week range. This is a really cool feature of NinjaCal, and I encourage you to employ this in your own work. NinjaCal makes it very easy to work with dates in your file, and obviously, this is very easy to integrate. Thanks for checking it out.